Welcome everyone, where we're going to be talking about your project manager this morning, which is your liver. You've just gone into your second day of detox and your liver is very busy today. It's gone into a different stage of detox. And as it goes through this stage, I'm going to be explaining to you what's happening in your liver. Your liver I call the project manager because on a job site, all the plumbers come to the project manager, the painters come to the project manager. The project manager is orchestrating the job site. So that's what your liver's doing. It's orchestrating the job site, of course, which is the human body. So a few facts on the liver. The liver is the largest internal organ in the body. And the liver is the only organ in the body that has the ability to regrow. And when you understand the liver, when you understand what it does, and it's the role that it plays, you'll understand why God made it so. You see, cancer cannot get a hold on the body if the liver's working in optimum performance. So those pieces of information alone make it a very important that we human beings know, know something about the house we live in, especially your liver. Your liver is under your right rib, and if it's not happy when you push it, it'll go, don't. Is that right? Very simple test. And you can see that I'm pushing my fingers way up under my ribs there. But I don't have any discomfort at all. If you have any discomfort, no need to fear. You're in a detox and your liver's very happy. Sorry, not very happy because it's very busy. It's very busy helping you to detox. But it, it'll certainly recover. So what I want to do before I show you what the liver's doing today, I want to show you what it does with everything that comes into the body. So environmental poisons coming into the body, everything goes straight to the liver. And if it's toxic, the liver says, whoa, nasty guy, wrap him up in fat and store him. And if the liver looks at it and says, no, nah, we can break that down to a state that can be easily released, that is what it will do. What about food? Let me show you what it does with the food that comes in. And never in the history of mankind have human beings eaten so many carbohydrates. So we're going to do a carbohydrate assessment. And I want you to tell me what most Americans had for breakfast this morning. Toast, eggs, yeah, eggs. toast. So here we've got bread. Cereal. Cereal's a very popular one. One lady said egg. Sorry, no one cooks anymore. Is that right? Donuts. Donuts. Surely not. <laughs> and we talked about the healthiest part of the donut, didn't we? Which is the <laughs> hole in the middle. So we'll say for the donuts, the cakes, the, um, you call them biscuits. biscuits. Do you know what we call biscuits? Cookies. <coughs> so when we see a sign that says, Biscuits and gravy, we're thinking, oh, these Americans are strange people. They put gravy on their cookies. But I, I realise that I think your biscuit is like a scone, like a, a roll or something like that. So I'm just going to say cakes, etc. So this takes into consideration the donuts, the biscuits, the cakes, the pastries, the pies, all of that. And uh, pizza. When I was a little girl, I didn't know what a pizza was. I... Um, I don't think I knew what a pizza was until I was about 20. 